guys going to put a sign on this? Yeah, yeah. we are. Because they each have. What was that one that Don was going to get, though? There was another three or I don't know what he said. What he decided. My golly, I forgot. i got to get my video camera out, too. All right. <laughs> I figured I'd take some video of this, too. What's this say here? Parking area. area. Oh, this is for here. Yep. Oh, great. And nail that up on that power pole over there, the PGE. Stand there and hold okay. it. Come on, Jim. Go, guys. A committee. Look at them. They're so officious. <laughs> go, go, Boy, guys. just give them a job, I tell you. That's great. Now what? It's yeah, I don't know. Where are you living? Oh, you're at right close to Donna. Donna is in Tuesday, and now she's in Yakima. Hi, Mrs. Rogers. Oh, I don't really want my pictures. <laughs> hey, can't wait. Jerry's gonna go get a pizza and eat for you. She uh, doesn't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> She's dribbling down in here. It's your dad, Terry. Does dad eat? Ducks? Here, ducks. <laughs> Okay, the duck hunting contest is about to begin. I can appreciate it. I have a promise from Pete that anyone who chases ducks goes from duck hunting. You my mom last night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys, act like you're having fun. Do you want to, Lisa? I'm Lila Peterson. I'm Danny. Danny's wife. And Danny went over here, so we'll go over here. Hello. Same hair. Same. Same. Yeah, yeah, hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all these things back. I, you know, there's Cindy, a lot of people. Hey, how are you? <laughs> fine. Cindy Stone. Cindy Stone. And Wayne, yeah. Vic, Mikey, yeah. you probably got him on there before. Yeah. yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. And Mike Kraft. Mike. Well, Mike. 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 Say hi. hi. John Levin. I'm staying with his parents. Great. Hey, Mike. Who's this guy? No, nah, come on, we don't know. Oh, yeah, wait a minute, he's dressed up this day. He got cleaned up. Hey, you clean up good. <laughs> I didn't spill my beer this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, the no nerves are getting under control now. And do you know these people over here? Oh, sorry. Well, she moved from the other group, so she doesn't count. So and I'm going to go ahead and find Jerry. Jerry, is this... Cardoza? Mm -hmm. Okay, hi. You, you look exactly like a picture. You haven't aged a bit. <laughs> Not like the 10 year picture. How did you know me? You didn't know me way back then. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he memorized all oh, the pictures. I'll put a 50 episode. Sure. I was thinking on the way over here. I should have gone. Are they all going to be here? <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Pick up a yeah. Yeah. Every single one of our classmates is going to be here. Well, that's in spirit. In spirit. Yeah. That's a good right. class. There are. That and this is Danny Barcelona. And this is us wide. Hi. 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 Hi
Okay. What are you hiding for, Donna? I've already hit it one, remember? Well, yeah, but uh, you, got, you can get in it again, you know. We have to go ahead and name people, in case, and this is Carl Barcellus, Danny's brother. Uh -huh. He wasn't in the class, so don't try to picture him. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. People can go crazy. My husband. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And this is the... Sid. Oh, you're with him. I'm with him. You're not in the class either? No. Oh, good. Then I'm with somebody else. <laughs> yeah, you haven't changed at all either. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Gee, I think we're about running out of light, so. Get it while you can. Yeah. Are you having a good time, guys? Oh, we're having a great time. Jim, why don't you turn around the camera for a second here? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, what
rotation. I think. You like it being this time of year? I'm much better than the summer. Uh, 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 way too much. Uh, so far with the football game last night, everything was fine. Yeah, at least they're a winning team, huh? <laughs> and I hope it turns out uh, better than the 10-year I hope he doesn't have broken ribs at the 40-year age. Oh. oh! Which he does now. Oh! oh well, I guess you won't. I'm not going to get him to kick up his heels too high. No. Slowly tonight. Okay, we'll see you later. Then. Slowly. <laughs> okay, where are you living? Where, yeah. where are we living? Uh huh. Right here in Merced on 28th Street, next to Bear Creek. Okay, and you like it? Oh, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't think of moving awesome. unless. You know, unless somebody has a better idea. Yeah. Yeah. More money wouldn't hurt, a better job. Money, you know, you know, what the heck. Art, do you have kids? Oh, yes. How many? Uh, a child, uh, hey, hey, daughter, five, now, son, three. That's two. That's two? Yeah. Okay. Zero County. So, so far. And, uh, let's see, uh, can you figure out why Bud Bailey isn't here? We have been after Bud for two years. I don't know why Bud's not he's here pregnant. now. Probably he's pregnant. Oh. Bud's he's pregnant. He's pregnant and couldn't fly. Yeah. <laughs> it was something like that. We, you know, we might have missed something, but, I, but he's got to be pregnant. Okay. Otherwise, Bud would be here. He would be here. He would be here. He would be here. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. We'll see you later. Thank you for the exposure here. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to do my career wonders. <laughs> but you missed a great time, and it'll never happen again. Are, are you uh, married now? No. No, happily single then. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, where are you living? Wenton. Wenton. On my way to Merced. On your way to Merced. <laughs> And do you uh, work in uh, Merced? Merced, oh, I see. Oh, that's great. Do you have kids? I have two children. I have one grandchildren. Whoa! One grandchild. One grandchild. Wow. Yes. Well, uh, we don't need to hear talk about grandchildren yet. Uh, well, I think it looks pretty good for grandmother. You really do. Oh, really? <laughs> but we don't want to think about it. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. It does tell her age, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you later then. Bye. Fold the uh, jacket, right? Well, truly, you, should, you know, fold it backwards like this, and then just reach over your hand like this. Okay, so, that's really good. And where did you learn that? Uh, at Water High School. Right. At Water High School, they taught you a lot of things about the oh, up-and-coming executive. And that's the... right. Well, if you go to the, uh, you know, company parties and stuff like that, and you don't know how to fold your coat, throw it on the bed. This won't make it in the They won't, okay. No so, how's things going on? Yeah. Real good. And you got to identify yourself because, believe it or not, some people won't recognize you. You're kidding me. I don't know. John Rasmussen, class of 66. And how many kids do you have now? Two. And you're married to? Oh, Lisa. Lisa. And We're 18 years now. And you live in? Atwater. Atwater. Still Atwater. Oh, yeah. And love oh. it. Well, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. We're men are men and women are glad. <laughs> Yeah. And where's your wife? I don't know. She just took off her parts unknown. Yeah, well, so, we'll catch so you. Back. Okay. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye bye. I love it. I live in Los Angeles now after the last four years. I have one daughter. She's three. I'm, I was married. I'm divorced. I'm looking real hard. Maybe by the time I come back, I'll have another one. Uh, what do I want to have? This is for the 40th? Uh -huh. For the 40th? I want to have been retired about 10 years way before this. So I'm working real hard for that. Don't like to work. Like to play. You may see me. I may have to fly in from either Europe or Hawaii. I don't want to be in California. That's about it. You like it in LA? Uh, yeah, I actually do. It's, it's a lot, a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. I do a lot of traveling now. I just came back from the East Coast, from New York. And I saw Bud Bailey. And You're I kidding. Why. We've been wondering why isn't he here? Well, his wife's pregnant. He bought a new house. And he just needs short on money. It's you know. were, were you at the 10 year? No, I wasn't at the 10. Well, he made a nice spectacle of himself, and we were hoping for a repeat. No, no, he's he's more mature now. Oh, you're kidding. No, oh, that's I'm disappointing. Lying. I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Okay. Did you have another question? Go ahead. What are you doing I run a company. We sell computer software across the United States to the government and Fortune 500 companies. Oh, great. John, this yeah. isn't a commercial. I know. But you really ask. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah. And where do you live? Modesto, California. Why do you live in Modesto? Why do we live in Why is it? Because we like it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Any kids? Two kids. Two kids. One grandchild. All right. This is something we didn't have at the tenure. Our grandkids is here with JJ. We play with them in the afternoon and then send them home. Fourteen hundred dollars. All right. And the prom. So we don't get to send them home. But it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been looking forward to this? Yes. That's great. You got the notice? Yeah. Well, that's great. So you're looking forward to the 40th now, right? Oh, sure. Okay. Well, we're telling everybody that uh, take a good look. This is we're, we're filming, so we all know what we look like with teeth. Okay. <laughs> you have any any words of wisdom for the? What would you like to have uh, be uh, doing when we get together for the 40th? Good health. All right, that's a good answer. Okay, well, we'll see you later then. So just, are you, and what is your name? And I'm Doug Whiteley. This is my wife, Jonelle. Hi. Hi. Fresno. She works for Guarantee Savings. I work for Pensacola, Fresno. John, it's great to be back after 20 years. You live in Fresno? No kidding. How long have you been there? About 18 years. Does it seem like 20? It does, in a way. Yeah. yeah. When you see everybody, it does. Huh? Yeah. Have you been looking forward to this? Uh, it's been growing the last few weeks. I'm really getting anxious for it. Yeah. 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 Do, do, people, do people look like you thought they would? Uh, some do. Others now, have changed a whole bunch. Yeah. Were you at the 10? Yes. Yeah. yeah well, there's some changes since the tenure. Yeah. Some salt and pepper. Yeah. Right. Any kids? Two. Two and girls. Uh, Marie is uh, 12 and uh, Brent is uh, 8. 8 tomorrow. Uh, well, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, hey, we're at it. Oh, we're fine. Linda Sales. Linda Sales. Where are you living? I'm still in first year. I've been away for one year. What are you doing? I went to the irrigation district here in town. Uh -huh. And I'm going to the accounting office. That's only age five, but I won't tell you about it after that. Uh huh. You're giving us a card. Oh, no. Give me a card. Any words of wisdom for the 40th? Wisdom. No. <laughs> okay. We'll see you later then. This is our 20th year, isn't it? 20th year. The I, hearing going. I can't hear you. Okay. You're Eddie Prince, right? And this yes. is your lovely wife. My and, wife, uh, Dee. Uh -huh. and Married her simply because she would have to change uh, from ED to DE. See? Oh. So I'm it was sorry. a matter of marriage of convenience. Okay, well, that's for you to say, and uh, do you have any kids? Yes, two. One boy, six, and one girl, three. Uh -huh. Have you been looking forward to the reunion? Absolutely, yes. Were you at the tent? Yes. Uh -huh. Anybody anybody that you have been particularly looking forward to seeing? Everybody again. Everybody. Everybody. Did, yeah. Now, I, I noticed you were at the uh, game last night. Uh, has, has everybody uh, aged uh, like you thought they would? Well, actually, uh, no. No? No, I take the fifth. You, you, you're not going to say? I take the fifth. Everybody looks just great. Yes, they uh, Okay. Yes. Well, nice talking to you then. Bye-bye now. Rick Adams. Rick Adams and your girl, Carolyn. And uh, are you, uh, have you been looking forward to reunion? That's the first one I've been to. I didn't graduate from that one. I was Oh, I see. So you just decided you'd come and see, see, how, everybody see how everybody turned out. That's the big question. How did they turn out? How did they turn out? Everybody looks fine that I've seen so far. They, they, no real big disappointment. Though. Well, that's good to hear. Okay, well, uh, any, any words of wisdom for the 40th? Okay, we'll see you later then. Toronto Robinson. Yeah? Uh -huh. and, hey, I know you. Of course you do. Yeah, you look familiar. Yeah. And are you still living in uh, Acapulco? Or? Yeah, almost, yeah. Kansas and Bill. That's and right. That's, that's yeah. right, yeah. Also, and uh, are you, uh, what are you doing now? Um, I'm kind of hanging around. Hanging around? Uh -huh. yeah. Kind of precarious? Yeah. yeah Are you married yet? No, I'm, st I'm not married. No? Well, now I'm not. Enjoying uh, single life? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. yeah. Any words of wisdom for uh, your classmates? Um, I don't know. No, I'm not right now. Okay. Just hang in there, I guess. Uh-huh. Does everybody look like you thought they would? No, no. It's really, really changed. Even you changed. The last time I saw you, I was like, what? Year and a half later. Well, was, was, now, were you at the tent? Yeah, uh -huh. and you were there, too. That's right. You had a beard then. That's right, I did. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Show us some more about him. Okay. <laughs> and I also know that you know. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go into it. Okay. And the words of wisdom, especially for... Did she help you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. All by No, but I'm not quite as dumb as that. <laughs> you know, which side? <laughs> but, um... As far as reunions, the words of wisdom is that the women always look better and the men always look worse. So I don't agree with that. Better take advantage of them. There's some real good looking guys around here. I don't know about that. I like I like that. Uh, okay, now say your names uh, so everybody knows who you are, because they may not recognize you. That's true. Okay. Food. Steve. Porker. Steve Porker and your lovely wife Beverly. And do you have kids? We have two. We have a boy by the name of Ken, who's 20, and a daughter by the name of Sandy, who's 17. Any grandchildren? Uh, no. Oh. No. That's a dirty word. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yes, I, I did tell Ken how grateful I was to him just a couple weeks ago that I was not a grandfather. Now, uh, you were the class president, right? Yes. Okay, now you should have some words of wisdom for your classmates. You've been saving up some words of wisdom. I mean, something that, that would help us all out at the 40th, you know? Perhaps as a recent graduate. Something like floss regularly, you know? <laughs> you gonna come to the 40th? Of course. We're still alive. <laughs> you gonna, you're gonna be in Fresno? I think so. Probably. Yeah. That's hard to tell at this point. Now that the kids are kind of almost growing and out, I, I don't know. We haven't stopped to rethink about how important it is for us to move down here. But we did like staying in Fresno while the kids are going through. I think it's a good place to raise kids. Hey, Bill, what are you doing? Well, Sandy wants to go to Berkeley. We may be too poor to leave the house for oh. our lives. <laughs> okay, well, nice talking to you, then. We'll see you later. Bye. 29. Bye. Ron McIver, and uh, are you guys, uh, where are you living now? I live in Red Bluff. Red Bluff, oh, northern part of the state. Do you have any kids? No. Oh, smart ones. No, I have four daughters. Where's the picture? You got kids? You got pictures. Of and what are you doing now? Practice law. Oh, and uh, are you, uh, have you been looking forward to uh, coming to the reunion? Yeah. Okay, anybody in particular you're amazed to see? Yes. Your wife. <laughs> Do people look like you thought they would? No, I'm the only guy who hasn't grown old. Yeah. Now, you didn't have a beard in high school, right? No, but I weigh the same now as I did when I graduated. That is a source of pride, I can tell. Yes. Yeah. Same suit, right? No. Prom no. suit. Prom suit. <laughs> Now, do you have any words of wisdom for the 40th? Don't do videos. Don't do <laughs> Last time we saw you, you were on the back of a Harley Davidson, wasn't it? Or you've really changed that, your image, uh, haven't you? Yeah, I've played my image up quite a bit. Uh-huh. And, and, okay, now we got to have your name for everybody who doesn't recognize you. Jerry Cardoza and... Uh, hi, Nancy. Dixie. Oh, Dixie. Okay. And uh, do you have any kids? Three daughters. you got to speak up. There's some loud mouths over here, so... Three daughters. Three daughters. Uh, 16, 13, and 10. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite a brood. And where do you live now? I live in Kenwood near Sonoma. Oh, that's nice up there. Yeah, do, you, uh, do you know um, Bill Krim? Doesn't he live up there? Yes. Pat Little Patty Crim's uh, brother, yeah. And uh, and I understand that uh, that's a beautiful country up there. Uh, do you have any words of wisdom for the class? Something that we, you know, that will be uh, memorable for the 40th? 40th? Yeah. Do you remember what you said in the uh, the uh, graduation uh, newspaper edition? What was it? Oh, shoot. Something, um, be smart and always smack up to your superiors. Is that what I said? That's something like that, yeah. I've got a copy of it in there. No. Yeah, yeah we got a copy of that newspaper. And smack up to the teachers. What? Smack up to the teachers, that's what it was. If you're smart, you'll smack up to the teachers. Uh, <laughs> Don't remember. Doesn't sound like you, does another it? Person, no, I can't another remember person. saying that at all. Anyway, it's good to see you. And you clean up real good, you know that? 
All right. Well, nice talking to you. Hey. Okay, you got to speak up now. What's your name? Sally Bean. Sally Bordalski Bean. Okay. Hi, how are you? And uh, where are you living now? Right now, we just moved to Fort Ord, California. Fort Ord. Yeah. And uh, are you uh, married? Yes, I am. And children? I have one child, six year old. Oh, so your husband's watching the kid? No, he's spending the weekend at Fort Hunter Lee jumping out of helicopters and blowing up tank obstacles or something. The, the army didn't pay for this for a good enough reason to let him oh. out. So, where have you been? I bet you've been all over. I've spent a lot of time living overseas in Germany and, and uh, caught for about five years on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. We just came back from Heidelberg, Germany. We spent three years there. We were in Heilbronn. Were you? Yeah, in 16. That's where I was supposed to, my first teaching assignment over there was sent to Heilbronn, but they kind of intercepted me and I went to Wildwick and instead. Oh, gee. Any, any words of wisdom for the class? Absolutely none. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the 40th? Oh, definitely. Okay. Well, nice talking to you then. Okay, fun. Ruth Eisner. Oh, Ruth, okay. And where are you, are you, uh, you're a member of the class? I'm a member of the class, yes. Uh -huh. And where are you living now? I'm living in Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, you came all the way out here? Yes, I did. You must love these people. Oh, I think so. And, and uh, it's just kind of curious about how did they turn out? Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. Did, have they changed much? No. no. No? You recognize everybody, huh? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. My first husband was. Did Lincoln have a base? No, they did have a base. It's discontinued now. Omaha has a base. Uh, My ex husband was stationed there. So, get kids. Four. Four kids. 16, 12, 24 months, and 22 months. Figure that out. That's a good one. <laughs> They're all adopted. Oh. Oh, we just got our last one two months ago. Okay, we'll see you later. Then. Thank you. Street, family. 
Norma Street. Married for 17 years, have a six-month-old daughter, 11-year-old boy. I work for Federal Express Corporation in Memphis, Tennessee for the past seven years. Prior to that, uh, Air Force. After high school, college in San Francisco. Bumped around for a couple years and then got started. Oh, you just sent me all of that. You said it all. Where you from? Where are you from? Los Angeles. Oh, local girl. Yeah. And do uh, you have any words of wisdom for the class? I mean, you don't even want to tell Bud Bailey he should have been here. Bud needs some hair. Now, he knows that already. Yeah, yeah. Beyond that, I have no Does anybody have any wisdom? Yeah, who knows? Well, we're, you know, we're just one. We're going to show this at the 40th, so we, uh, you know. Maybe by then I'll have some. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice talk. I'm Jeff Braga, and I'm uh, currently working for the Merced County First Health Department. And this is my wife, Barbara. And we've been married for 15 years. Do you have any kids? Uh, we have an eight year old boy and a six year old girl, uh, five year old girl. Yeah, you have to ask your wife what the ages are. Dads don't know. Right. Uh, well, women never forget how long it's been, you know. <laughs> and, uh, see, uh, where are you uh, living now? I'm living here. Oh, in Atwater? Merced. Oh, in Merced. I was actually only gone for the two years I was in college and two where years in the Army. Uh -huh. so I've been here the whole time. Uh-huh. And uh, any words of wisdom for the class? Words of wisdom for the class. No, I just hope we all have a good time tonight. And don't make a fool of yourself. Well, that'd be all right, too, that'd be a, Well, we don't, we don't know who's going to make a fool of themselves this year. Bud's not here. Yeah, well, keep an eye on me. Okay. <laughs> Gary Ferreira. Oh, here's my wife, Paula. And uh, where are you living now? Uh, we're living here in Winton, California. Uh-huh. And, and I teach at Atwater High School. Oh, you do? I've been there 13 years. What, what subject? Uh, freshman, social studies. Uh-huh. And uh, is it... Uh, how do you like being a teacher where you used to go to school? Okay, first two years, strange, but now I just feel like one of the, uh -huh. one of the old folks. Yeah, and do you have any kids? We have two, two children, one 12, built up with this 12, and uh, a girl that is uh, nine. I know nine. And uh, I saw you at the game last night. Uh, did, did the, uh, we had to leave a little early. Who won? Uh, Atwater. All right, now is this a big change? No, Atwater has been quite successful the last seven years. The coach oh. has done miracles. Yeah, okay. And do you have any words of wisdom for the class? It's just great to see everyone. Yeah, it is. You know, healthy and and uh, you know, I hope we can do it again soon. Yeah, well we're getting we're gonna we're gonna show this at the 40th. But uh, we, yeah, we should get together before then. But we wanted to show everybody while they still had teeth. You know? Oh well, well I have hair, but barely. Yeah. Okay. Nice talking to you. Okay. Thank you. What's your names anyway? Good. Do you have names? Who are these people? Who are they? Do you recognize her? Who is she? Not gonna talk, huh? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure out who you are in the yearbook, and then we'll we'll put a voice in there that sounds kind of like you. Okay. I'm Leona McMillan Stack. And where are you living now? I live in Winton, and I work for St. Paul's. And uh, any words of wisdom for the class? No, if we don't know by now, we never will. <laughs> okay, well, nice talking to you. Lovely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so who are you anyway? With the, the I'm her sister. Uh -huh. I'm Carolyn McMillan Chandler. Uh -huh. And I have two kids. My son graduated last year and a daughter that was a junior this year. So you just came to see I what... I just came as a chaperone. Just to see, yeah, to see how people turned out. Right, right, right. Okay, nice talking That's to you. Then. <laughs> Jim Shepard. Jim Shepard? And this is uh, your daughter? This is my daughter. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> And, uh, no, it's your wife, Susan? Right. And, uh, how, do you have any kids? We have two kids, daughter Sarah, who's uh, 15, and a boy, and they have six. And, uh, where are you living on? I live in, uh, west, east, south of Sacramento. And what are you doing this these days? What am I doing? Yeah. I work with the Youth Authority. Oh! Where are you living? In Wilton. Not Sacramento, but... Elk Grove? Yeah, Elk Grove, yeah. yeah. East of Elk Grove. Okay. Up on Rancho Seco. Yeah, we take a shortcut when we're going to Rancho Cordova. You can go. Grand Line Road? Yeah. Yep. Not much of a shortcut. <laughs> Any words of wisdom for the class? No, I can't think of any. Not right now, huh? I don't mean to put you on the spot. You know,
know, Bud Bailey's not going to be here. Does, did he ever get any hair? Uh, I don't know, but I understand he's pregnant, so he's not going to be here. Okay. Okay, well, nice talking to you. There it is. And this is Rock. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I met her last night at the Livingston Bar and Grill, and I just love ladies who like new things on the spur of the moment. This is wonderful. Is any of you going to be repeated? We've got to be loud here. I can't hear you. Where do I look? Where do you want to look? Uh, just look at her. Okay. And you have a daughter now. Yes, four years old. Sesame, Megan, Fish. Uh, and she's a sweet, angelic, quiet little yeah. child. She's a monster. Yeah. Wind up, doll. Yeah. Wind her up. Yeah. If you could bottle it. Where are you living now? Outside of Redwood City, California. On the, over on the coast. And near San Francisco? Is that where Redwood City is? About 20 miles south of San Francisco. Near San Jose? Uh, kind of halfway between San Jose and San Francisco. Oh, okay. We're just trying to get an idea. Out, out, out in the woods. Uh, now, are you having as much fun at this as she is? Get back in there soon. Okay, well.